welcome back to Mimsy Park. Today, we are going to be going back to the Michael Garman Museum. You may have seen the last episode that I did there with Mike. We are gonna go back. I wanna show it to Brittany, who is with me right now, but has not gotten ready for the day, and therefore will not let me show everybody that she is with me right now. So we are going to go to her house so she can fix her situation she's got going on. And then we're going to make our way to the Michael Garman Museum. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so, Brittany's camera ready. I wasn't lying, she is with me today. And we're gonna go to the Michael Garman Museum and see about filming there. I have not actually touched base with them about going and doing this again. We're gonna head down to the museum now. It's huge. If you watch the last video, you'll see how absolutely huge and massive this project he has going on is. But with all that said, let's head to the museum. Here we go. Okay, we are here. It is dreary outside today, though, as you can tell. Well, it's all blown out. Take my word for it. It's all dreary. <laughs> Kind of see it's all, uh... I was gonna get like some cool b-roll here downtown, but I don't think it's gonna happen with all the rain and everything and this camera not being weatherproof. So I think we're just going to skip to the museum now. They could not have been cooler about letting us in. I told them I just really like this place and I wanted to get another video done with this camera because the last one we do was with the other camera. With that said, let's explore the museum. So that's the thing, a lot of these end up changing. The last time we talked to them, we saw about how they like holographics, uses cameras, stuff like that. It's not just like all of this stuff here. He's also got these really detailed sculptures he's done here. But yeah, he does them all here. He's got a studio here. Each item individually crafted, which means he's not doing, he doesn't have molds, he does them all by hand. I think we found where we're getting all of our Christmas stuff from. It's Daisy! <laughs> Magic town, here we come. Like, just like the sheer scope of all of this. This is why I wanted to come here with plenty of time to spare. I love this place. There's so much stuff to see. Some of this I don't remember. This is, this is one of the things I love so much. You can't really see it too well because it's dark, but he uses mirrors to make it look like it's going way back there. This is actually one of my favorite ones right here. Just the detail and like, this is, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like the level of detail you have there in the wall and all that, it's just crazy, man. It is pretty dark in here, but there's not much that can be done about that. I wanna know like where he got the actors for this. Can't go past over there yet. Okay. No, don't do it. Don't do it. You're gonna ruin the surprise. No, it's fine. It's fine. Ruin the surprise. Are we ready? Ruin the surprise. No. Just even down here, like in the pavement where it's kind of chipping away. This is what every Colorado road looks like. Oh, well, I don't remember that guy either. Oh, maybe that's why. I never noticed this gun with the wind poster here. This is another one of my favorites. Remember cigarette machines? I remember cigarette machines. 
still have them in Kansas, right? Of course they do. Okay, now we're coming into Magic Town. Incredible though, right? Yeah. Let it be noted that Brittany just said this place made her want to switch art mediums. I feel like that says something. Okay, so I am almost positive that is not the hologram that was playing last time Mike and I were here, which kind of adds to my whole theory of this place always evolving, always changing, and constantly working on it all the time. This is stuff I'm sure was here last time. I just don't remember being here last time. There's just so much here to see. There's just the, the sheer amount of stuff here to see is just, it's not overwhelming, but there's just so much that you can come back over and over again and constantly see something new, constantly see something that you didn't see before. It's immersive, there's stories to be told. Every little thing is an idea and a story that he had. It's just mind blowing, it really is mind blowing, I feel like the video and it being on screen doesn't do it justice because I mean it really doesn't. No, it's it does. Huge. It's huge and small at the same time. Well, and then you have like like the even the buildings. He hand sculpted the buildings to put stuff into it. That did you see the clown up there? I did not see the clown up there. See, like Fatty here. I don't think Fatty was here last time. But I can't remember. I know he was here last time. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is stop talking for a little bit. I'm gonna switch lenses over to my 50 millimeter because the light's a lot better, it looks a lot better. And I think we're gonna go ahead and do some really cool B-roll in this place and let this place really kind of just speak for itself. So B-roll segment starting now. taking them something like 20 plus years to do all this and it's not really hard to see why considering the level of detail I mean just look at all this I mean it's just it's crazy we actually I don't have the room to ourselves right now which is pretty dope if you look back down here you can actually see the playing Castle Blanca back there I mean like look up in here you can see in there the desk, it's got stuff in the desk. What'd you think? It's amazing. Like I said before, she does paper mache stuff and sculpting and stuff like that, and that stuff alone is incredible to me. But from, just so from like an artistic point of view, like... Like I said, I'm exhausted. I'm <laughs> just looking at how much work went into it. I mean, this is a 20 plus year endeavor that's constantly evolving, constantly building on it, so... Just absolutely incredible. I love coming to this place. Just coming in here and just, it's very immersive. You can see the stories coming off of everything. It's just incredible. And again, it's five bucks for a ticket. So if you're in Colorado Springs, definitely, definitely a tourist attraction that you should visit is the Michael Garman Museum, for real. It's, uh, the videos really don't do it justice. You can't get the scale, you can't get the scope 
of just the sheer level of detail that goes into what this dude is doing here. Seriously, an incredible place. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and call the video there. If you guys did like the video, go ahead and throw me a like. If you wanna stay up to date on the future videos, go ahead and throw me a subscription, and I'll see you guys next time.